Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Grace and today I'm going to be doing another Disney style video for you guys where I'm going to be styling three Disney tees as I would wear them to the parks. These t-shirts are actually from my last trip to Disney Springs where I attended the phase two reopening that included World of Disney and a couple of the other Disney owned locations that are in Disney Springs. And while I was there, I picked up a couple of pieces and I decided that I want to do a fun video where I styled them for you guys. I did a little haul at the end of that video. So if you've watched that one, you know what pieces these are and if not then it's gonna be a fun surprise if you saw my last Disney style video where I styled Urban Outfitters pieces as I would wear them to the Disney parks you know that I like to combine normal everyday outfits and give them a little bit of a Disney flair through accessories or ears or a fun park bag so this is gonna be how I style pieces that already have a lot of Disney in them with my Disney t-shirt and see what accessories I add with them and how I keep them Disney but still keep them fun and trendy and very much me we're gonna go ahead and get into the styling I'm gonna show you each piece before I show you how I styled it and whatnot. So the first piece is from Zara and Zara is a great place if you want a fun Disney t-shirt. Obviously um, they're very trendy. They always keep very much in fashion and in style. This one is Dumbo and this one was super cute. I ended up getting it in a size large because it does have a structured oversized fit but um, Zara does tend to run a little bit smaller so I would have typically gotten a medium in a t-shirt just because I don't like them to be super tight and hugging. This material is super thick and as you can see it's very well made so I'm not worried about it falling apart or being see-through or anything while I'm walking around the parks just in case it rains or whatever if I get wet on an attraction. But I'm really excited obviously it has Dumbo on it and for this style I'm going to be pulling from the blue hues that I find in Dumbo. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that outfit looks like now. Also, this Dumbo tee from Zara ended up costing $24.99. I believe it doesn't still have a tag on it, but I think that was the pricing. Anyway, I chose to pair it with a skirt, also from Zara. And I love this skirt because it is perfect for a park day. You've got that fun look of a skirt in the front, but you've got shorts on in the back. That's awesome for getting on and off of rides. You don't have to worry about showing anything that you do not want to show. I also paired it with this blue headband because I wanted to pull the blue from Dumbo because he's such a pretty blue gray. And then I wore my wedges with it as well. I think that wedges are awesome for park days if you want something that is going to be cute yet comfy. These do not hurt my feet at all. I also wore a Dumbo Alex and Ani to give it another little Disney flair to it and obviously I love Dumbo a lot. Yeah, I did decide to go with a French tuck because I felt like that fit with the style really well and I wanted to get the detail of that button in the squirt. I would love to get a picture in this outfit when the parks do reopen over by the Dumbo attraction because it is so stinking cute and I think it would look perfect over there. I think the colors would balance out so well. And then my next two pieces both came from Uniqlo. So for those of you who don't know, Uniqlo is actually a Japanese clothing designer and distributor for everyday casual wear and they make some of the cutest Disney tees. They're very unique and I've been a huge fan of them for a while. So this one is their it's like a bunch of Mickeys in a row and it's a really pretty blue color which I thought would be so fun in any of the parks and again you have like a great material shirt it's not too thin but it's gonna this one is thin enough that it's not gonna feel overwhelming when you're in the parks and I chose to get a medium I just thought it was so stinking cute and I originally thought that I could see myself maybe cropping this or doing a bleach style look on it which I could do later on however I want to get some wear out of it in its original condition before I do any restructuring to the shirt but I think it's going to be super fun. I will be styling it one way, but I could definitely style it so many other ways. I mean, this blue is just beautiful and it's got so much potential. I believe both of these were $14.99, but I think they were on sale, so it ended up being like, yeah, I think $14.99 is right. They're around $15. But anyway, it was a little more subtle top. I had a little bit more wiggle room with adding some Disney flair without it being too over the top. So I went with a pair of simple Mickey ears, and I ended up throwing on a Mickey bag as well. This little Mickey pass holder purse is actually from the little girl section at Shop Disney. I got mine from the World of Disney and Disney Springs as well. And these shorts came from Free People. I thought that the blue and the black complemented really well together. I love the way that I was able to keep pulling black from the Mickeys in the t-shirt, but I could have easily done some white shorts as well. I think that would have been super cute too. And I tied up my top. My Air Force Ones you'll see with both of these last two looks because they are just so perfect for um, park days. They are cute and they are really stylish, but also so, so comfortable. I could literally wear these with any look. The last shirt I'm going to be selling with you guys, again, also from Uniqlo, is a Mickey art piece. And I really like it because it's got all the different 
sort of Mickey accessories from his pants to his shoes to his gloves and it's so artsy looking it's very trendy that's the one thing you'll see about my Disney tees is I try and keep them trendy and if they don't already look trendy I'm gonna make them look trendy in the end but I really liked this t-shirt I got this one in a large because I wanted to fit very oversized and I think you'll see why in just a minute but I was gonna get with it go with a medium but unfortunately they didn't have a medium in stock and that's okay because I already had an idea for it so it was gonna work with my initial idea anyway but I really like this look it could get a little hot in the Florida heat so I probably would not wear this in the dead heat of summer this is also like really a true unisex tee where I can see this looking really good on like a guy or a girl and for my last look this is a grungier look I wish I could have some Backstreet Boys new kids on the block painting in the background here but I decided to go with a 90s look because this looked like a graffiti painting to me and I decided to lean into that I went with a pair of whitewash jeans these came from Urban Outfitters they're a boyfriend mom jeans so they're loose but they also are high-waisted and so I decided to do a little French tuck there because I wanted to still have that 90s fun look and I put a red polka dot bandana in my hair because I wanted to have the 90s feel to it but also pull some Disney flair and I chose red polka dots because we all know Minnie Mouse's bow is red polka dots. Again, it was 90s, so I wanted to keep it a little more of a funky look. One of the reasons that I love sharing my Disney style is I love helping others find their Disney style as well. I want you to know that just because you're wearing a Disney tee doesn't mean that you can't absolutely make it your own. Obviously, these came from big shops that sell to thousands of people every day. But I love getting to take pieces and absolutely make them my own and put my own style and flair to it, so I really encourage you to do the same. Be sure to leave a comment down below as well about your favorite piece that you saw me wearing today. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's looks that I've put together. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already. And for more sunny and magical content, don't forget you can follow me on my other social channels as well. I am the Sunny SG on both Instagram and TikTok. Also, if you are interested in more of my Disney style videos, I do post a lot of Disney style over on my Instagram. So if you're not following the Sunny SG on Instagram, be sure to do so. I post tons of Disney style things over there. We do have a park opening date if you are not already aware. It is July 11th for Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom and July 15th for Hollywood Studios in Epcot. I will have some more videos coming up before then, getting my new park outfits together, getting ready to go into the parks, and everything that you guys need to know. So be sure to subscribe if you are not already because you don't want to miss any more Disney style park opening information or DCP information. I hope that you have a sunshiny day and I will see you guys in the parks real soon. <laughs>